Have you ever wanted to draw something but it just doesn't come out right or turns out to be something else? Here are three very simple hacks you can use to make that drawing perfect. The first hack is using a grid system. Here we divide both the reference image and the drawing sheet into equal number of squares by using a grid. I use an app called Grid Drawing available in Google Play Store. Once you have downloaded the app, open it and click on the Let's Grid button and select the reference photo from your gallery. Now select the number of columns you want for your grid. I am selecting 6. You can also add diagonal lines from the settings to make it easier while drawing. And click the grid button and then save it. You can then open the image in galleries. Now divide the drawing sheet into same number of squares. More the number of squares, more the accurate the drawing will be. Here I am drawing the grid very dark for the video. When you try it, keep it light. Or it will be difficult to erase these lines later. Once you are done, start drawing one square at a time. This drawing took me only about 10 minutes. Now erase of the lines. If you are always drawing on a specific size paper, make a template grid and keep it beneath the drawing sheet. You will not have to draw the grid every time. Or you can use a light box if available. Or even your laptop screen. The second method is augmented reality drawing. I use an app called Fino. Click the add template and select the reference image from the gallery. You should adjust the size, opacity and focus before starting to draw. It will show the reference photo overlaid on the drawing sheet. You just have to draw over it looking at the font screen. The third method is tracing. Here you place the drawing sheet over the reference photo on your laptop screen and then trace over it. If you are using a printed photo, shade on the back side of the photo using a regular pencil and then draw over the photo. Of this, drawing with grids is my favorite. Which one is yours? Let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos.